Yeah. Just like the only Chris Elder from a current affair, I need to ask you some questions about the assault you made on one of your co-workers. It was an accident. The footage is clear. He brought his head onto yeah. the saucepan lid. Jess Farcioni is known as the darling of Newcastle Radio, but we've discovered she has a dark side, and recently it's spilt over into violence. I'm in the hit 106.9 studio at the moment, and this is where the drama unfolded. I'm joined by Ducko and Nick. Now, Ducko, can you remember what happened? Uh, look, Chris, it's tough to say because the head knock was so bad and the concussion was just furious, one of the worst the doctor's seen in years. Um, but I swear, Jess came up to me and she said, can we do a TikTok? And, and, and I remember just before I was doing the TikTok, I swear she said, this town isn't big enough for the both of us. Yeah, I, I wasn't in the room at the time, but I remember that vividly as well. Were you ever aware of her having a violent streak in the past? I mean, there was hints. There was hints along the way. A few mm -hmm. little things. Turn the mics off and she can be a different person. But I never thought, I never thought this bad. So she clearly isn't what we think she is. She's not the darling of Newcastle Radio. No, just for everyone out there who does listen to our show, I'm sorry. It's a lot. Yes, yeah. Chris Chris Elder from A Current Affair. I need to ask you some questions about the assault you made on one of your co-workers. Yes. Um, Anything, uh, to no, no. Anything to say about that, Jess? Anything to say about that, Jess? It was an accident. The footage is clear. He brought his head onto Jess. the saucepan lid. This is not a joke, Jess. You clearly have injured him. He's got a scar the size of Harry Potter's. Yeah, that is fair. You can see the scar. But also, it's very clear that he brought his head down on the saucepan lid himself. I was way above him. He brought him his it, head up to me. This could be career ending for him. He could have a scar that could end his acting career. He's in radio. I mean, pick a niche. I mean, you can't have two feet in two camps. Pick a yeah. niche, radio doesn't need your head, let's be real. No, no, it's not no, like his head's on a bus. You're full of excuses here, but do you normally hit people with sore spits? This is the first time. I, you can look at my record. I've never... Don't really go in the kitchen to use pots, to be honest. So I, I've never really had lids, let alone two in my hands. At so, once. <laughs> so this isn't something you practice at home? No, no. No practice has been involved and I don't appreciate the insinuation that I practice this. <laughs> now are you sure about this? Because we've heard that the police could be investigating. Really? <laughs> I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, is I that wasn't aware. Is that I wasn't you? aware. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Why would you do this to me in my career? So I didn't a current affair, help me! Your father's here as well. Sorry, right, sorry. Right. You, you might be not fine. be able to see it. Right. Papa! Papa! <laughs> you want something to... <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. It's not all laughs and jokes here at 106.9. And I thought television was bad enough, but these people are another level. Chris Allen for A Current Affair. Never hurt me again, Jess. Ever again. Thanks, Dad. No worries. <laughs> <laughs>